Nostalgia is a powerful thing. The entertainment industry is now, perhaps more than ever, built almost exclusively on the nostalgia of the audience. Look back at the last few years of movies, TV shows, video games, and just count how many of these are reboots, revivals, HD remakes, and so on. Capturing the wonder and excitement of childhood is big business. As all of us who were kids in the 80s and 90s start to creep into our 30s and 40s, and who just so happen to now have disposable income, it's not uncommon for us to look back at the past with rose-colored glasses and think about the so-called good old days. However, the mentality of movie studios and game developers to continue to revisit the past, to expand on what was there to give us more, better, faster, more often than not is detrimental to the product as a whole. What was only supposed to be a simple, entertaining movie or TV show or whatever now has to be real, gritty, and everything and everyone has to be explained to the last detail. In this way, the push to cash in solely on the nostalgia of the audience is ruining our favorite franchises. Part of the allure of movies or whatever of the past was the mystery. Most stories weren't written with a lot of backstory or epilogue in place. There was a story, it happened, we all enjoyed it, and we all moved on. Maybe there were some toys to sell or whatever, but other than that, the stories just kind of existed on their own. Now of course, things are very different. Everything has to be a fully fleshed out franchise, with comic books, novels, tie-in mobile games, limited run action figures, everything imaginable. Every detail of the world, every character has to be fleshed out in supplementary media. There's no room for mystery because I guess people just don't really want to think that much anymore. Think back to Star Wars. Characters like Boba Fett or Darth Vader became legendary because much or all of their story was a mystery. We got little bits here and there and some authors took it this way or that, but really nothing was set in stone. But then with the prequels, we finally got our canon official backstories. And turns out they were pretty boring and lackluster. Or take the recent Alien movies. With the first two movies, we got a peek into this bizarre, grotesque universe. Where did the aliens come from? Who's this company? What's the backstory? And so on. Recently, we finally started to get a look into these burning questions, and a lot of people are left wishing they didn't know. Maybe things were better when it wasn't all spelled out for you. But of course, this isn't just limited to backstories and prequels. The question of what happens next is maybe one that should stay on playgrounds or around bar tables. Take the recent Prison Break revival, which was one of the most amazingly incoherent, pointless pieces of television I've seen in a long time. Not only does it not make any sense whatsoever, but it quite literally makes the events of the previous seasons pointless. The trials, the sacrifices, the hardships that the characters went through, they're all retroactively made meaningless. Indiana Jones is another example of a franchise that should have never been touched again. The original three movies were a masterpiece of cinema. They are, at their core, perfect adventure movies. We got what we needed, we all had fun, and that should have been that. But of course, Indiana Jones 4 comes along and pretty much ruins the franchise for future generations. I mean, people are more likely to watch more recent versions of something than older versions. I mean, newer means better, right? But in this and many other cases, the newest versions are the ones you should avoid. Now, of course, there are exceptions. Star Wars Episode 7 proved that with love and care, revivals or continuations can be done right and can actually bring a franchise back from the dead. Not that Star Wars was necessarily dead per se, but after the prequels tried to give us everything we thought we wanted, no one really thought much about Star Wars until we heard it was sold to Disney and they were going to start making movies again. So far, we've gotten two excellent movies that stand out even more as outliers because there are so few examples of this working even half as well. Now, this bodes well for movies like the upcoming Blade Runner, but the track record has far more misses than hits. There are a lot of reasons why trying to cash in on nostalgia alone is doomed to fail. But the biggest reason, ironically, is us. The entire point of reboots and revivals is to say, hey, remember this thing from when you were a kid? Let's check it out again. The problem with this though, is just that. This movie, this TV show, this game, whatever it is, is from when you were a kid, but you're not a kid anymore. And that's the whole point. When you were a kid, everything was different. This movie or whatever it is existed for you in a specific time and place. You went to a certain school, your family life was a certain way, the way you thought about yourself and the world was completely different. All your memories of this particular piece of entertainment are tied not just to you personally, but to everything in the world around you at the time. So when you go back to visit this movie or that TV show or whatever it is, the only variable that remains the same is you. Except it doesn't really because you at 10 years old and you now are hopefully a completely different person. So no matter how hard you try to get back to those good old days, it's never going to be the same. You don't live in that house, you don't wear those clothes, you're dating someone else, anything and everything could be different. Nostalgia is powerful. 
but too often we've seen how relying on nostalgia alone can not just give us bad movies or TV shows or whatever, but can actually have negative effects on the integrity of the original. Not everything needs a sequel or a prequel. Some stories are meant to end and to just exist as they are. We don't always need to know what everyone's doing 10 years from now or how this or that character got their nickname or whatever. In my opinion, this need to turn everything into a mass media franchise to sell more toys, more memorabilia, to keep the fire going as long as possible. Everyone is focused on the brand and not nearly enough time is being spent on the story, the content, the integrity. You know what the world needs? Far more storytellers and far fewer marketing teams.